In this video, I'll go over the different parts of an engine and how do these parts work. Before we get started on the different parts of an engine, I'll discuss the different types of petrol engines that you'll most commonly see on many cars. Number one is the inline engine. You will find this as inline fours or inline six. V-shaped engines are another common engine type. You will find these as V6, V8, V10s, or V12s as shown here. And finally, the flat engine. You will usually find these engines commonly in Subarus, like the Impreza WRX. Now let's talk about each engine part from the inside to the outside. Number one is the cylinder block, or also known as the engine block. This is the main part of the engine where combustion of fuel takes place. The pistons, connecting rods, crankshaft, and water jacket, and so on and so forth, are bolted into this part. Next are the pistons. These are placed in the cylinder and transmits thrust to the connecting rod. These pieces are free moving. They compress air fuel mixture and convert fuel energy into mechanical energy, thus transmitting power to the crankshaft. The next piece is the cylinder head. This is fitted on the top of the cylinder block and they seal the working ends of the cylinder and they do not permit entry and exit of gases on cover head valves of the engine. The valves, spark plugs, camshaft, etc. are fitted onto this piece. The connecting rod connects the piston to the crankshaft and transmits motion and thrust of the piston to the crankshaft. The lower end of the connecting rod is connected to the piston. The bigger end is connected to the crankshaft itself. The crankshaft is located in the bottom end of the cylinder block. It transmits the reciprocating motion of the pistons into rotary motion, sending that motion to the driven wheels. The oil sump is bolted on the lower end of the cylinder block. All oil for lubricating movable parts are placed in this piece. The camshaft is fitted either in the cylinder head or at the bottom of the cylinder block. This is used to open or close valves at proper timing in a multi-cylinder engine. The valves are fitted on the cylinder head of the engine. This regulates the flow of air-fuel mixture inside the cylinder and exhaust gas outside the cylinder block. The spark plug is fitted onto the engine cylinder head. It is used to ignite air-fuel mixture inside the cylinder at the end of each compression stroke. The push rod is used when the camshaft is situated in the bottom of the cylinder head. It regulates the timing of valves open and closing through rocker arms and the camshaft. The manifold is bolted on the cylinder head, one each for intake and exhaust. It evenly distributes air fuel mixture for the intake and collects exhaust gases from all cylinders. The piston rings provide good sealing fit and less friction between piston and cylinder. It splits at one point so it can be easily installed into grooves cut in the piston. The gasket is used to seal the engine head and cylinder so no pressure is allowed to escape. It is placed between the cylinder block and the cylinder head. The piston pins are parallel spindles fitted through the piston boss and connecting the rod's small end. It connects the piston to the connecting rod. The engine bearing is used to support moving parts, just like the bearings on my tracks of Slash. The timing belt or the timing chain synchronizes the rotation of the crankshaft and camshaft so the engine's valves open and close at the proper times of each cylinder's intake and exhaust strokes. The radiator is the most crucial part of the engine. It keeps the engine at proper operating temperature by passing coolant through water channels and that allow heat to be released. The flywheel resists changes in rotational speed by the movement of inertia. You will find this piece sandwiched with the clutch and the transmission. The alternator charges the battery and sends power to the electrical system while the engine is running. The intake is an opening of a car body capturing air for operation for the engine. And finally, the intake manifold. This piece supplies fuel and air mixture to the cylinders. And that is it guys, those are the parts that you need to know about your engine. If you have any questions, feel free to comment it down below and I will talk to you guys again later.